there's a secret world of God's wealth that he has hidden in every generation. It's, it's a secret world. It's a secret system. And it's hidden in every generation. And you know what makes God so enthusiastic and what stirs him? Do you know what stirs God? Is when a person on earth listens to him to the degree to locate these hidden wells. He loves that. It drives him wild. All throughout the Bible, it showed you how God became the friend of men and a woman that listened to him so discreetly, so powerfully that he made them his friend. Um, if you take a note, write this down. Wealth is a realm of friendship with God. I don't think I ever thought about it like that. But wealth is a realm of friendship with God. You're walking with God. And and in the walk, the deeper the walk gets, it um it transforms into wealth. Like you're on a path with God, and it's a golden path, but then the path unlocks gold. It's a golden path, but then the path unlocks gold. And money cometh is now your portion in life. When you're in this secret world of, of divine wealth, holy wealth, it, it also is a place where the spirit will start dealing with every financial issue that is up against you. He'll deal with it. No, no, no. The Holy Ghost has a financial track record. Good or bad. And I want to say this. There's a credit score in the spirit. Um, do you know when you owe God your credit score in the heavens go down? Because there's a debt. Wow. And and, 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 and and you lose points. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and you lose points. And so um, God will send a creditor to come talk to you, which is the prophet. <laughs> see, see, saints, I never heard this a day in my life. But the Lord said the woman at Zarephath was in debt. But she thought it was to the natural. She, she was in debt to God. So you see off the jump, look where Elijah came tell her. Go get me some water. <laughs> and then he said, go, go get me some bread. She said, I ain't, 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 I ain't. She probably was a, she probably was a Paquito woman. You know how I fixed that up. I was about to say that she probably was something, but I changed it. El Salvador not gonna shoot me. I'ma shoot El Salvador. That's a <laughs> so 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 hey 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 go 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 get me some go go get me some go 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 get me some bread go 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 get get me some bread hey 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 what what excuse me. Ain't, ain't, no, I, I don't understand that. You got, you got to speak. Yes, no, maybe. Right now, I need definites. I need definites. I need deficits. This is a stick up. Go get me some bread. She thought she was in debt to the natural. She was in debt to the supernatural. Wow. Saints, do you know that there's people on earth right now walking that don't know that they owe God in the supernatural? There's a supernatural debt. Now watch this. Do you know that Peter was giving Ananias an opportunity to pay his debt off? Saints, I come to tell you that the apostle, the prophet is a debt collector. A debt collector. Wow. 
That's why when you pay your debt, you start experiencing all type of favor because the master that you owe, which is the Lord Jesus himself. See, Jesus paid your debt. Now you in debt to him. Oh my gosh. And this is what people not preaching the full gospel. See, Jesus did pay the debt for your sin, but now you owe the debt for your responses to the life that he gave you. Called life and life more abundantly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Ramanda Karada. See, see, now you in debt to, it's, it's like this. Say somebody pay your bill, right? It's like you in debt to the person that paid your bill. Now, your bill is paid. That was a debt, but your debt, you're indebted to the person that paid it. So, 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 you ain't got to lick their toes. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't, you ain't, <laughs> but there's a debt, <laughs> there's a debt, there's a debt that is, is entitled. It could be the debt of loyalty. It could be the debt of never disrespecting. It, it could be the debt of never gossiping. It could be the debt of, 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 of. Helping them out with something that they they need help with, it could be the debt of just <laughs> the debt of just being kind. All right, the debt of just being kind, just being peaceful, just being generous. So watch this: King Jesus paid the debt, but now you're in debt to King Jesus. Now watch this. The spirit actually has given you the wisdom, the, the, the teaching, the graces so that you can pay the debt without any issue. You just got to stick to the teaching, stick to the words, stick to the instructions. The debts have been easily accessible to cancel. So, so saints, now you know that when you start paying God, because that's what sowers do. That's what we do. And, and we're not sugarcoating this gospel. This gospel is real. This is what we do. We pay God. And when we paying God, that's why it unlocks a world of favor. We paying God. That's what a sower does. We pay God. And God is so interested in those that pay him because he had paid people for generations and nobody thought about paying them. There are people that live their whole life that only know how to sow See, when you a boss, you get you you pay others, right? So the fact that you start sowing, that's proof that you actually a boss in the spirit. And that's why sowers have so much authority to rule and reign with Christ, to be the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, the lender and not the borrower. Why? Because the dominating anointing comes upon you because you operating from boss activities. See, a, a boss is who pays the workers. But see, when you start realizing that God been working things out for your good, all things work together. These works I do. These works I do. These works I do. I do. I'm working for you. These works I do, you'll do also. And even greater works when you start realizing that God working for you and you pay him. It unlocks a world of secret divine wealth, divine money, because God is fascinated with somebody that will pay him. He has paid people all the time from Genesis, from pre-Genesis. Angels get paid. He has always paid everything he created. He pays the, the snail, the ground. He pays the eagle, the sky. He pays the fish, the water. 